When delving into the enigmatic world of narcissistic dysfunction, survivors of narcissistic abuse often find themselves on a perplexing journey, grasping at straws for answers. One concept that frequently crosses their path, like an elusive mirage in the shifting sands of emotional turmoil, is the notion of a midlife crisis. As they venture deeper into the labyrinth of this concept, they entertain the notion that the narcissist, too, might be ensnared in a crisis of their own making. It's a complex conundrum, one that they speculate could stem from the narcissist's struggle to find meaning and purpose as they stand at the crossroads of life, perhaps as their children mature, or they approach that pivotal mid-40s threshold. In their quest to make sense of it all, survivors grant the narcissist space, holding out hope for a miraculous turnaround, only to discover themselves ensnared in the spider's web of abuse once more. But today, dear reader, we embark on an odyssey of insight. I'm Danish, your trusty guide through the treacherous terrain of narcissistic abuse recovery. And in this episode, we shall unfurl the complex tapestry of a narcissist's manipulation, cunningly weaving the threads of a midlife crisis into their arsenal, all with the aim of keeping you ensnared in their intricate web of deceit. Let us delve further into the enigma that is the midlife crisis. This psychological vortex manifests in myriad forms, a tempest of emotions and behaviors, yet anchored by a few discernible markers. Confidence, once unshakable, dwindles like the waning light of a setting sun. Irritability becomes a constant companion, propelling you towards reckless actions you never before dared to take. Boredom, like an unrelenting specter, haunts your every moment, urging you to seek perpetual stimulation. Depression, that heavy shroud of desolation, settles in as hopelessness and dissatisfaction become your bedfellows. The overarching sense of purposelessness envelops you like a suffocating fog. Yet amid this maelstrom, the narcissist artfully wields the notion of a midlife crisis as both a shield and a weapon, manipulating your perceptions and preying on your empathy. Some individuals traversing this midlife terrain may resort to infidelity, a perplexing choice that can confound survivors, particularly when they are inching towards their 40s or beyond. It's a poignant reminder that narcissists, much like fine wine, though their attributes differ, tend to age poorly, their ire and thirst for attention becoming increasingly pronounced. They cast aside the veneer of civility they once maintained, embracing a miserable transparency that may resemble a midlife crisis, but is, in reality, a wholly different beast. Consider, for instance, a middle-aged narcissist, their once hidden infidelities now brazenly on display. They care not for the consequences of their actions, heedless of how it slices through your soul like a surgeon's scalpel. They metamorphose into emotional icebergs, their prior morsels of attention now a distant memory, buried beneath layers of emotional frost. And in this chilling transformation, you may find yourself entangled in a web of self-doubt, questioning your worth and the tenuous thread of your relationship. Have you ever tried to save a relationship, celebrating your partner's milestones, planned holidays, and even including your children or grandchildren. Despite your heroic attempts, it feels like your acts are pebbles tossed into an abyss and consumed by apathy. You wonder, what is happening? You consider depression, bipolar disorder, or other obscure illnesses, but none fit. Narcissism haunts your existence. You realize in the deepest regions of your mind. Have you explored this self-doubt and despair labyrinth? If so, please share your experiences to help others avoid wasted time and sorrow. Through the human psyche's maze, join us in the search for understanding and healing. Differentiating a midlife crisis from narcissism is like traversing a maze of emotions and behaviors. Due to changing responsibilities, a midlife crisis may occur in your 30s, 40s, or 50s. Your children are grown and on their own retirement looms, and you wonder what's next. This defines a midlife crisis. Yet it contradicts the ever-changing narcissistic narrative. Narcissists are always in crisis, and as time passes, it worsens. The cause is their dependence on narcissistic sources, including people, institutions, and roles that affirm their ego. However, these sources fade over time, leaving the narcissist in identity crisis. Friends, family, and partners who once bolstered their self-worth may withdraw, and the career that fueled their self-identification could crumble. Even their offspring, who may have once been pawns in their grand game, now see through their manipulations, shunning any form of contact. This dearth of narcissistic supply culminates in what can only be described as a narcissistic collapse. 
Yet this collapse is not always as apparent as one might expect. Instead of a complete breakdown, the narcissist often resorts to an unsettling adaptation. They become their own source of narcissistic supply. In a bid to compensate for the diminishing external sources, they unleash their narcissism in its most unbridled form. Every ounce of anger, dearth of compassion, absence of respect, and the profound scarcity of empathy rise to the surface, manifesting in shocking and abhorrent behavior. What can further confound observers is the semblance of depression. Narcissists may plunge into the depths of despair, isolating themselves, shunning conversation, and losing all interest in sustenance. In extreme cases, they may become catatonic, a startling transformation that leaves you grappling with the question of what went wrong. However, it's paramount to recognize that this plunge into depression represents the emergence of their long-suppressed emotions. Narcissists, for all their grandiosity, cannot indefinitely evade their own emotional reality. When these repressed feelings finally erupt, it engenders a catastrophic and irrevocable collapse. It is not a midlife crisis. It is the crisis they've harbored from the outset, concealed beneath layers of ego and facade. Their sense of purposelessness, a familiar marker of a midlife crisis, offers another layer of complexity. Yet it is crucial to fathom that a narcissist inherently lacks a genuine life purpose, apart from the relentless targeting of others. When this predation can no longer be sustained, as elucidated earlier, they grapple with profound purposelessness. It's akin to a predator who has subsisted on hunting prey throughout their existence and now, bereft of a quarry, withers away. This is the reality of narcissists. It may masquerade as existential void, but it is merely their internal chaos manifesting externally. This is the essence of their being. Narcissists are driven by an insatiable need for perpetual destruction and diversion. Some mass wealth, others become workaholics, some succumb to the allure of alcohol while others fixate on infidelity. But as they confront this crisis, all these sources of distraction dissipate, leaving them mired in the quicksand of their own thoughts. They cannot endure this self-confrontation, and the clamor of their inner turmoil becomes insufferable. Hence, they incessantly seek external stimulation, leading to an appearance of boredom with everything you offer. It is the deep well of dissatisfaction that characterizes their existence. In summation, the precipice of a narcissistic collapse marks a moment of extreme crisis. It is in this juncture that the narcissist exerts their final vestiges of strength, striving to resurrect their waning life, recapture the elusive glory of yesteryears, and secure fresh sources of narcissistic supply. Some may temporarily succeed in this endeavor, yet the inexorable march of time ensures that every narcissist ultimately confronts a collapse, one way or another. With this, we draw the curtains on today's episode. I trust you gleaned valuable insights into the intricate labyrinth of a narcissist's midlife crisis. If you found our discussion enlightening, do not hesitate to share your thoughts in the comments. Your perspective can prove invaluable in nurturing understanding and aiding others on their journey to recovery. Stay tuned for our next rendezvous, where we shall delve further into the enigmatic realm of healing. Until then, as always, let the healing begin and persist.